Well, hi everyone. It's back to school week, and this is a great opportunity to use this as an object lesson. Let's get right into it. Hi, I'm Joshua Wells here with Kids Ministry Tools, and today we're going to do an object lesson for back to school. You see, the Bible says in Ecclesiastes 9:10, "Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might, for there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest." So God wants us to understand that He wants us to increase in our wisdom, in our knowledge, and all of our work, and do it with all of our might. That being school too. We're supposed to go to school trying to learn and grow. Up here I've got some school supplies. And with the school supplies, first off we have a, a ruler. I like this one, it's all flexible. But anyhow, on the ruler you have inches and on this side you have centimeters. Well, what is it for? That's right, it's for measuring. You know what the Bible says in some comparing themselves among themselves are not wise? A ruler is for comparing sizes. How tall is this little glue stick? Uh, let's see here on this side here. It's about about three inches and an eighth, okay? All right, let's see, how about this over here, the eraser? It's about two inches uh, and a quarter, two inches and a quarter. How about the crayons? Let's see here, uh, almost four inches, it's three and three quarters. But anyhow, so it measures. You know, a lot of times we try to compare ourselves to other people. We try to make think, well, you know, I'm not as good as so-and-so, so I may as well not try. That's not right. Hey, the Bible says you're fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works. So don't compare yourself to other people. Don't think, well, I just don't measure up to what they are. I don't measure up to how good that person is or how um, well behaved that person is or I don't measure up how good that person is at math, so I may as well not try. No, 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 whatsoever thy hand findeth do, do it with thy might. And here's an eraser. What's an eraser for? Taking away mistakes. You know, sometimes we make mistakes. Have you ever made a mistake before? I know I have. Well, in making mistakes, sometimes we have to go back and fix our mistakes. And that's what an eraser is for. You get to take, when you write with a pencil and you're writing and you're, you're paying attention, you're taking notes, the eraser is to go back and fix any mistakes that you've made. Did you know that God is a God of second chances? And His blood wants to wash away our sin. Erase it forever that God gives second chances, a chance to be able to fix the problems that you've made. Well, while I got it in my hand, the pencil. The pencil's for taking notes. The Bible tells us that we're supposed to learn, okay? We're supposed to grow in grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Did you know that sometimes you forget things? Have you ever been forgetful? Yeah, but God never forgets you. And He has my name written in the book of life and not with a pencil. It can't be erased. God has wrote my name in the Lamb's book of life permanently, forever, and not with a pencil. But the pencil reminds me that my name is written down. It, every single time you sit down to the school, you got the paperwork and you got to put your name at the top. Well, my name is written in the most precious book ever, the Lamb's Book of Life. And boys and girls, you too can have your name written there. Well, what else is on the table? We had glue. You know, glue can be used for a lot of different things, okay? But spiritually, when I see glue, I think of what sticks to you. What sticks to you? Did you know the more you put glue on you, the more things can stick to you? And if you're not careful, the wrong things can stick to you. You're going to go to school and you're going to find out there's some people you probably shouldn't be hanging around. There's some people you probably shouldn't be listening to, especially while the teacher's teaching. So that being said, make sure that you glue the right things to you. And if you're not careful, man, you get the glue out and you get you get this person stuck on you and get that person stuck on you, but they're making fun of the teacher, they're lying, they're cheating in class. Let's not let, let, let that person be the one that we're stuck on. Hey, how about this one? Crayons, I love crayons. Crayons remind me of many things, but crayons are unique. But what I like about crayons is they mix, they mix colors. And you can intermix with other people even though you're unique and create something very beautiful. Did you know the Bible says, two are better than one, but a threefold cord is not easily broken. Watch, crayons can mix colors. 
and you can mix with folks that are, are good people and you can find friends that encourage you to be better than you already are or to be more than you already are. Find some good friends that encourage you to do more for God, that encourage you to do better in school, that encourage you to do more. And last but not least, scissors. I like scissors, especially at craft time when you're cutting stuff out and making things look really cool. But here's something I think of when I think of scissors spiritually. There's sometimes when you have to cut ties with individuals or friends or maybe even somebody that you were friends with in kindergarten, but in first grade, they decided not to believe in God. You don't have to be mean. You don't have to be cruel. You don't have to be unkind, but you just don't hang around them as much, okay? You don't be buddy-buddy with the wrong kind of folks. You learn to encourage them in the Lord. You learn to be kind to them. But when you cut ties with them, doesn't mean you're not around them anymore. It simply means they don't influence you anymore. You don't need to be influenced by wrong. <laughs> we're not supposed to be friends with the world. We're not of this world. So we're supposed to be friends with God and love everyone. When you're cutting ties, doesn't mean you don't like them anymore. It doesn't mean you don't love them anymore. It simply means you cut the tie to where they are not connected and making influence on you anymore. Hey, I hope you enjoy this object lesson. Don't forget, you don't have to measure up to everybody. God made you special just the way you are. And he wants you to be the best you, you can be. And then, hey, take notes, learn. But more importantly, my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life because of Jesus forgiving my sin. Hey, and God is a God of second chances. He can erase all the things that you've done wrong, all the things that I've done wrong, mistakes that we've made, blotted out forever. The Bible says cast into the depths of the sea. And you can make mistakes in school, but that's what the eraser's for, to fix the mistakes that we've made. Glue, don't let the wrong things stick on you. And then get around people that make you more than you already are, that give you the opportunity to be everything God made you to be. You know, when I was in school, uh, there was somebody who helped me with math. I wasn't all that great at it until they encouraged me and helped me with math. Now I love math. Yep, but there are some people we need to cut ties with. Yep, not be mean, not be cruel. We're just not letting them influence us like they used to. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this object lesson. I'll see you later in the next one. Bye.